My name is Patricia Brennan and I'm a stained glass artist. I've been working with stained glass for a long time, um, 39 years. The process that I use um, to make my stained glass windows is the same exact process um, that they used in the very beginning of making stained glass. Um, I've lived in Rappahannock for 36 years and um, I'm also a mom of five beautiful children and I have four grandchildren and they're my best creative endeavor. Glass just intrigues me and I love that there's always something new to learn. Um, I work with regular stained glass, I silk screen on glass, I etch on glass, I fuse glass, um, I slump glass, and I even make glass beads. <laughs> so there's just so many techniques and so many different ways to incorporate it into my work, and I just find that really exciting. My classes I call open studio, and they are um, exactly that. People can come in and learn from the beginning, and I have students working at all levels. I have some students doing mosaics, I have a student making a lamp, I have a beginner student that has never cut glass before, and I have some wonderful artists that are accomplished artists that just come to work on new ideas that they haven't ever tried before, like painting on glass or something like that. My garden is a huge inspiration for me. I spend a lot of time, if I'm not doing stained glass, then I'm gardening. A lot of times people uh, say to me, oh, you're so lucky, you, you work for yourself for a living, you know, it must be incredible to be self-employed. And um, it makes me kind of chuckle because without my husband <laughs> supporting myself and my children, um, it would be difficult to say that I am um, making a living, but um, after all these years of um, perfecting my craft and being dedicated to what I'm doing, I finally am making a living, but to get here, um, to become an artist that is able to make a living, it takes a good support group. <laughs> the name of my business is Day Down in Glassworks. Um, for a long time, I used to travel around the country going to Irish and Scottish festivals and I um, created mostly uh, Celtic symbolism in glass. And so De Danann um, is from a myth of Ireland of the Tutha De Danann and translated it means Lord of the Light. And so De Danann is just the light. In the past 10 years, I've been working with um, the Macedonia Baptist Church in Flint Hill, Virginia. And um, the windows at the Macedonia Church are some of my best work. I just love going in there and getting to see all that work, and I can't believe I made all that work. But I have 14 windows in there that are hand-painted, and some are very large. And um, it took me about six years, but I think I'm finally done with them. <laughs> I like to uh, try to copy nature as much as I can, so um, I'm not as good at abstract art. I tend to go towards realism, and so there's just an incredible amount of inspiration living in the mountains and watching the animals. So my current project that I'm working on is um, a project that's made possible because of the Claudia Mitchell grant, and I'm working on a body of work that's all about Rappahannock County and things that inspire me in Rappahannock that I see in glass. And right now I'm working on a series of windows that are um, all of uh, flowers um, that are indigenous flowers that I grow in my own garden and I've taken pictures of them and they're the focus point of my, uh, my windows. So I have a, a set of four that I'm working on right now. Lord of the Light is, um, I think, what, you know, happens to stained glass. It really enhances your living environment in a great way and I feel really honored to be able to uh, have my art be brought into people's homes and churches and to get to inspire and lift people's spirits through my work. Mm -hmm.